Hey guys, I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips and welcome to yet another video tutorial um, using Adobe Premiere Pro. And in this one I'm just going to be talking about transitions. So I've got these three video clips that I have. I apologize that it's a little, uh, a little uh, shaky, a little laggy, but um, so as you can see between the clips the transition is really abrupt and it doesn't look very professional so I'm just gonna talk about how to apply transitions um, okay so over here in the effect panel we have all these things but of course what we want is video transitions now I'm not gonna be going over every single transition because I'd be here all day but um, I'm just gonna go over just how to apply them some uh, and some ones I like to use so probably the most popular transition would be dip to black um, it's under the dissolve um, dissolve I don't know what that's called the dissolve uh, subgroup I guess um, so here's dip to black and then there's also dip to white and uh, there's a whole bunch of different dissolving type of ones. So here's dip to black. So what you want to do is you want to grab it. Now there are several different places where you can apply it. You can apply it at the front of the clip, at the end of the clip. Okay, here's a here's a common uh common problem. So what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to apply dip to black in between two clips. Um but as you can see it's not allowing me to it's only letting me apply it to one so there's an easy way to do that um, so here let me first show you how to just apply it to like the beginning so you just drop it on the beginning and then if I press play as you can see it goes from black and then slowly the video uh, brightens up now you can adjust how long this lasts by just using your uh, using your selection tool um, shortcut is V and uh, you just go to the end of the dip to black and you can make it longer make it shorter whatever you want <clears throat> now like I said you c it's supposed to let you apply it um, in between two of them but as you can see right here it's not letting me it's only letting me apply it to the front of this one so what you have to do is you zoom in all the way to where the clip um, where the two clips meet and you want to go one frame in front I actually have to uh, I actually have to make room for this one frame so I'm just really quickly gonna move that and basically you're just gonna move your second clip over to the right so that there's a one frame gap so what this does is it it makes it so that you can apply the dip to black to both of them see I can apply it to the end of the first clip and to the beginning of the second clip so so but since we're adding two I like to take the t the duration of both of them and make it about half so that we're not uh, so that we're not um, so that we don't have too much dip to black so there we go as you can see it went dark in this clip and then it stayed dark and became turning light in the second clip that tends to have a better effect than only applying it to one but um, under most circumstances it allows you to place it in between both clips um, and then yeah here are a bunch of other effects uh... what's another one that's good some of the slides can look pretty professional some of these don't look professional at all there will be like rainbows and stars just appearing out of nowhere but um... there's like push so let's see how this one looks i think this one just yeah I'll go in slow motion for you. See, it takes the clip, it just moves it, it just pushes it, just like the name says. So yeah, that's how you apply transitions um, 
for the most part you're probably going to be under the dissolve subgroup but there are some other ones um, under slide um, zoom wipe those all have decent ones in it but let, let me find it let me find an example of a bad transition special effect uh, let's see card flip that sounds pretty cheesy okay let's see this one yeah I mean maybe if it's like a video for like a four-year-old's birthday or something that'll be appropriate but not for any sort of professional looking video so I hope you guys found this helpful if you did please leave a like maybe favorite the video or subscribe to my channel for more videos um, I plan on doing these pretty regularly like I am right now and uh, I have a big list of of topics that I want to cover but if there's something that you personally want me to talk about and make a tutorial on I'll be happy to do so just leave a comment or you can private message me um, or if you have any questions about using transitions or anything else in Adobe Premiere Pro so yeah like I said I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips thanks for watching link to my website is in the description thanks